Hello, welcome to our documenting 2D artwork demo. This is gonna be a really quick demo about photographing your work and how to make it look a little sharper before you post it on Canvas. So instead of using a fancy camera, I did this whole demo with my smartphone. That's kind of a dumb phone, it's pretty old. It does not take the best photos, but I'm gonna show a couple of tricks and tips just to get a better quality image. So, Sometimes when people present work, they put it up on Canvas and submit it for a grade. It might look a little rough. It might have things in the image. We might not be able to see everything. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how we can get a better looking photograph. One thing to kind of watch out for when we're documenting our work is thinking about shadows. Often people will take photos and there might be objects in the way like this big shadow that comes in here that might distort how we see the image. Sometimes there might be weird perspective things happening. So this image is a little bit skewed. It's at a weird angle. So if we took this photo at a different angle, kind of move some of the stuff and thought about those shadows, we could probably get a better photograph. Now you could have a more fancy setup for taking photographs. You know, I have this tripod set up, it's all strapped down, it has this kind of arm that comes out. I have a couple different light sources in this image in order to take photos and record videos, but you don't need to have all of that. You know, if you're really just playing around with how you're angling your phone, how you're zooming in, you should be able to get a pretty decent photograph. You know, maybe having two light sources might be helpful. I have one here, one there. There's also some natural light coming in. I'm usually taking photographs. Another consideration is light quality. Shadows can be hard, so they can be really sharp, or they can be softer, or they're more of a gradient. And if we want to control if our light is hard or soft, it's pretty easy to do. We can use a piece of wax paper, a piece of tracing paper, maybe a white sheet, and we can cover that light in order to make it softer. Here's an image I took with my phone. So I got closer, I made sure that the perspective wasn't off, that it wasn't at a weird angle, I made sure that my lighting was nice and even and I wasn't standing in a light source and creating a shadow, and it turned out pretty nice. If I go and I just play with a little brightness and contrast on my phone, I can actually make it a little sharper, make it look a little nicer. So that's something you might wanna do. Now you can also go outside and shoot a photograph pretty easily. So I take a piece of paper, put it down so my back of my drawing doesn't get dirty. And you can see I'm outside, there's my feet. Usually you're gonna get a better quality photo if you are doing this when it's kind of an overcast day. It was pretty bright and sunny. You can see there's some deep shadows because of around five o'clock, the sun was starting to go down. But still, I got a pretty decent photo out of this too. So hopefully that shows you a couple different ways of creating a photo. Just remember the main thing is, you know, be mindful of those shadows. You want a nice even light. Two light sources might be a little bit better. Think about that light quality. You know, you might want to soften it. And think about what angle you're taking that photo and what, what perspective. So if you take a good photo, you can probably clean it up a little bit on your phone. And then you can post it on Canvas. Well, thanks for watching this video. Hope this helps. Bye.